Hello, this is going to be a detailed guide on two-tick fishing. So for the location of this, you're going to be in Port, port Pisca, whatever the heck, and you're going to be over here. And a quick teleport here is the Fisher's Flute with the Book of Dead or the Caritas Memoirs. There's a little bank here that you can use as well. Okay, so once you manage to get your way over here, there's going to be these rats which you're going to use to attack you before we get to that. You're going to use a short bow or a hunter's crossbow. Maybe a five-tick crossbow works. I need to have to look into that. Uh, you're going to have no nothing in the ammo slot. You can't have a Vrata's Blessing. It won't work because you'll try and shoot that on the rat, which doesn't work, and it doesn't let you do anything. Okay, so once we get that set up, you also want either a Dragon Spear, Runes for Curse or Confuse Spell, whatever. It doesn't matter. And if you're some little pure skiller thing that can't gain combat XP, ever then you might want to try use poison dynamite or you just want to screw this method entirely but poison dynamite does have a chance not to inflict poison and not to deal full damage on a rat and kill it so you could try that to uh, make them aggressive so i'll just show you and you want the rats i've marked the spawn points if you want to just kill a couple rats and see which one spawned here these are the two rats you want or you can just send it and it's used to the ones that are over here 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 so they managed to make their way over here so there's also, uh, it's singles over here. It can be a bit annoying for rats attacking you, so attack the one that's farthest this way first and try not to get hit by it. Um, otherwise, you're going to have some issues. I can just go here. And you want to turn your auto retaliate off just in case. And I may be showing you why you want to attack the farthest way. Let's see. So this one, see, this is what I mean. This one's not aggressive anymore because it was single combat. That's fine. I can go back and multi, I think. And now they're both attacking me. All right, so to set the rats up, you're going to put your crossbow or a short bow on. You can turn auto retaliate on, and you can line them up like this. this is a pretty decent way to set it up. And you want them attacking uh, evenly two ticks apart. They have a four tick attack cycle. Uh, one way to do this is to wait until it attacks you. You walk under this rat. This rat will attack you, and this one will attack you after. So just at the right time, you got a bit of a... About this. You have to, you have a one tick interval. You have a twenty five percent chance success rate if you have no idea what you're doing. So you'll get it eventually. But you want to just walk after it attacks you. That was definitely not the right time. This is all fine. And there's also another way to set it up is if you wait for you figure out which one is attacking you last, and then you walk under that one. So this one's hitting me first, then this one. So if I walk under this one just before it attacks me, it's going to get delayed one tick to move out underneath me. Sometimes it doesn't work, it stays under you for an extra tick. Try the same thing again. Figure out which one it is, I have no idea. I'm gonna walk under them until it magically works. Now they're both in sync, so this is gonna take two attacks to do walk under, so I'd rather just line them up like this again and then try what we want to do at the start. There we go. So that's how it is. It's pretty obvious. It's an even rhythm. You can't figure out a cycle. It just looks all the same. Uh, you want to turn your run energy off because if you run off to the side, they're going to get out of cycle. And now you want to be at this fishing spot, but uh -oh. if we walk there, they're going to screw the rats up. But what you can do is you just step here, this, and then you can just click the fishing spot straight away. So this is how you move between fishing spots. If the fishing spot disappeared here and it was over there, I just click the fishing spot. That's fine. If it's over here, then I can't walk straight there. So I just click here, click one past the spot, and then just click spot. And that'll work. So you might also want to shift click and tag the rats to see the tiles they're on, which helps for setting up the ticks and also just seeing them because they're incredibly annoying bastards to see. And they don't show up on the mini map from what I remember. All right. So now actually uh, fishing. So once they're in sync, then there's going to be some plugins that you want to help with this. If you're not a plugin person, then you want to click on the fishing spot when you get a blue hit spot. So every two ticks, you're going to be clicking on the spot. And it's insanely easy. And you'll get some XP drops. 
Unfortunately, I am a plugin warrior, and I love my plugins, so I'm going to turn a bunch of them to make this absolutely brain dead. Because I don't want to stare here intently at my screen, trying to figure out when they're attacking me with no idea when the ticks are coming. So, first one you want is going to be Metronome. This is a default plugin. You install this. Hear the nice ticking sound? Not that nice, though, because I can't really tell when it is. So what I'm going to do is turn the talk volume on, and then when you have this, turn the volume up. Your two different sounds and then this will help you a bit more knowing when to click on it since it's every two so you'll know if it's on the tick or if it's on the talk that's when you click okay second plugin you want is from the plugin hub visual metronome this one here and it will be installed somewhere and i'm just going to install the other one too the other one that you want is fishing notifier Alright, this one is already fine. So now we go to Visual Metronome Settings, turn it on, and you're going to see this thing in Tick Number Settings, so, so Show Metronome Tick Number. You turn that on, then you see this. And then, to put this in a better spot, you can hold Alt and drag this where you want to put it. You can also hold Alt and find the bright bottom corner, make it really friggin' large, and you can put this on the side. A bit excessive, but there's a reason for that, which I'll explain in a bit. Um, I think that's it for that. Now to actually do the fishing, you have a harpoon. Dragon harpoon's better. Crystal harpoon, even better still. Don't use an infernal harpoon. Um, just really expensive, but you do you. So we're going to figure out when these rats are attacking me in terms of the number on this. It's, they're going to either be hitting me on the one or they're going to be on the two. So looks like it's on the two. And I click the spot when it hits two. Click, click, click. Pretty, pretty damn easy. And if you mess up and you click on the one, uh, which I'll do now, the fishy notifier plugin starts spamming the shit out of you, telling you you're not doing it right. So that's what that plugin's for. So that's a nice way to know that you're doing it right. You should be turning around like basically every time you turn around to one of the respective rats is also how you can tell that you're doing it right. And then you want to zoom right the hell in as well, like this. You can also hold Alt and drag your inventory around, make the inventory really close to the fishing spot. You release Alt first and then you release your mouse, otherwise it does weird stuff like that. The most important thing for a good XP is just always clicking the spot. And then you can drop your food in between on the one. So you drop like two food and click, or you can drop three food, you can drop like four food like a maniac. It doesn't really matter though. These things, this is much easier than uh, power mining like iron ore for example, in my opinion. Since you don't have to, since you don't like have a 100% success rate, there's very little clicking involved. So now our spot moved, we can just click it since it's not going to mess up the rats. Yeah, the success rate of uh, the fish is much smaller than doing something power mining iron ore, so you really don't have to drop that much. You can afford just to like wait to fill your inv up, and then you have a bit of time where you're not really doing much. So with all these plugins, the real reason for doing this is that now you can kind of look away from your screen, and you can just listen to the sound, or you can see this big thing in your peripheral vision of the changing color. So now you can watch like TV or Netflix or whatever. I usually pull up uh, Netflix and watch some shows while I'm doing this, which is great. You just have to click, move your mouse, dope, and then yeah, you just wait till you hear some sound pinging you. Um, and if you mess up the rats, I guess I can also show that. Uh, you can AFK at any point. If you want, also, if you, if you want to, like, AFK and just go to the bathroom, whatever, I would just drop all your stuff, um, turn your auto tele off, click here for a bit, and then just fish the spot, and then you can go AFK, come back, maybe your inventory gets fil filled, and then just be normal harpooning. Uh, the other thing, actually, I want to go over is if you want to use some boosts, you can use Admiral Pies, which are nice. Since you're dropping your fish, you can bring a bunch of these. And then just eat one, put your preserve on. Probably eat them when you're moving in between spots would be the best time to do it. Um, and now you have a higher fishing level to do this with. Better catch rate, better XP, and all, all that, yada yada. You can also uh, do the Crystal Harpoon spec. 
Um, I'm not going to teach you about this because honestly I don't do it. It's just a lot of effort. Um, and it's a bit dangerous because if your auto retaliates on and you do it too slowly, you can kill a rat. So, up to you. Find that in another video. Um, in terms of messing up the spots, so... Oops. Well, that did it. Oh, I got lucky there. Yeah, messing up spots the same way that you set it up. So this rat's attacked me last. Messed it up there. You also want to find a very low ping world when you do this. It would be the best, so sorry worlds by ping. Find one that's decent. And only do this with another person. If there is someone else here, hop worlds, because it will not work. Because they have, uh, clipping-wise, clipping, clipping wise, if somebody is standing here, even if a random event spawns, you have to be careful with the random events, any NPC or player standing somewhere can block a rat from moving. So if there was a player fishing some something here, whatever, and I was walking here, say the player is where that tune is, this rat would be stuck over here and it would completely screw me up. So you can't have other players doing this with you. So definitely just hop worlds. And if you get a random event as well, they can also block the rats from moving. So don't move if there's a random event spawned. Um, just try and if you can, if you can dismiss it without moving, do that. Or if you can step here and then dismiss it, you can also do that. Um, and back to setting the rats up. You can just walk underneath it at the right time, or you can run run away a bit. Hold Control click to run or whatever um, to line them up, and then step under again. There's a lot of different strategies for this, and eventually you'll find one that works pretty well. You have to kind of... whoops. I don't know what the hell he's doing now. They're also a bit little unpredictable when they, when they walk under them. Yeah, this can take quite a while. It's definitely not one of the easiest ways to do it. Probably just going stepping like this north of them and walking under it is a decent way to do it. Really? Anyway, at this point you can end the video and, you know, I've said everything I need to say, but I do want to try and actually get them set up. Might happen. It might not. You know, you could just spend eternity watching this video. I'm fucking around with two little... That's with two HP that I really just want to bonk, you know, fuck them. Thanks for watching the video.